All right, we're in. Okay, perfect. Uh, let me, I'm just gonna take a second to see if uh, Rohan can hop on the call. And I want to uh, take a second. I'm sure uh, that some of you uh, listened in to the daily call today and this new process of uh, picking uh, the person who would be taking the follow-up items. Uh, so, yeah, is there someone who would volunteer? I can do it. Hey. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Shannon. And uh, welcome, uh, Rohan. Rohan mentioned he, his, he's, it's England there, so it's midnight, and so he's probably not going to talk too much just because uh, family is sleeping. But, uh, but I'm pleased to, to uh, welcome uh, Rohan, who's going to be our new Webflow webmaster and, and helping us take care of all of our, our webmaster needs. Yay. Hey. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hey. All right. Uh, let me just get where our call sheet is here. There we go. Okay, so there's a couple things I wanted to, to quickly go over and then let's just kind of we can chat about about uh, progress and anything that's a, a blocker and then afterwards uh, I, I can help Rohan get kind of oriented with everything we're doing. Hey. Um, hey. So again, uh, Rohan sounds like he you uh, you can uh, introduce yourself. But we, we met uh, through one of the Facebook uh, web flow uh, boards and was uh, was excited to hear about what we were doing here. So, um, yeah. So I've been using Webflow since um, a year and a half. Um, I built a website for an oil company. Um, um, if you'd like, I can tell you more about that website. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's no, cool. That's, that's great. Um, yeah. So we'll 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 kind of orient you to the, the the Trello board and how we how we sort of sort out all of our tasks here. Uh, but the main mm -hmm. things to know are that everyone's really friendly and that if there's any place, any times where you're you're lost about what our processes are or looking at a card and are unsure what it means, then anyone mm -hmm. who's in this channel is is more than happy to, to help with anything. Uh, oh, we, have, that's, that's we have kind good. of a growing team of people who are helping with videography, with design, with different elements. Um, mm -hmm. so, so you can let us know if there's resources that you would want or need in order to mm -hmm. get the website into the shape that you would want it to be. All right, yeah. Um, new things that are on as of today. Um, one of the folks who who joined today is uh, an MD, uh, has his, his his masters and is is specialized in, in research and pharmacology, and he thought it would be really great to lead a, a short um, webinar on how researchers go about looking for their information and figuring figuring out which sources to go to go to. Um, so I, I think that's a great idea. We just need to, to coordinate with him a little bit to figure out when we would do that and then make sure that the folks who might be interested in that um, internally uh, know about it. Um, we have a few um, sponsors now. We have a couple of sponsors to uh, list. Those are in the to-do column right now. So, you know, EZP was our first sponsor. and They've, they've helped uh, Brendan a whole oh, a huge amount in getting his work uh, done, getting our, our pipeline for the updated COVID-19 data. And then Mike Honey has gotten Zoom charts to give us a license that's worth about $2,000 for getting some of the, uh, the visuals and graphics done. Uh, and then uh, I believe it's uh, Jeffrey who is uh, getting a Causally license set up for us as well. Um, so that's a great way, it sounds like, for, for checking medical citations and references. Um, there's there's a little bit of a hiccup there that we're just trying to figure out with them in terms of what the email account will be, but soon there'll be a third sponsor we'll have. So, so once, wait, what was the first sponsor called again? Uh, EZP, and so they're 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 just hosting a single bare bare metal server, um, and but it was it's the first piece of sponsorship we got, and uh, Brenton's been when he's when he's doing all of our updates to the data every time they publish a new set, that's the server that he's using to do that on. Awesome. And do we, are we uh, letting our, all of our volunteers know that these are our sponsors? Is there some visibility that they're getting or right now it's just no, exactly. it's being done uh, like just as a work process and then later they'll be uh, acknowledged? Or? No, so what, what, what I want to get done is on the website, we, we need to have a sponsor section that's there. And what I'm thinking we might want for it is for each one 
have you know have their logo and of course that have that link to their site um, but also have a little tiny testimonial from one person who's on the team talking about the difference that their sponsorship is making in what we're doing because that way they get kind of the most out of their sponsorship um, and it kind of lets people see you know get, get kind of a good feeling about about their contribution to what Corona is. Exactly and we actually already have that section I just hidden so whenever you guys have logos and text we can quickly enable it. Perfect yeah and so the format for it, as we get sponsors in the to do column here I'll just quickly share my screen um, to, to just kind of show the flow that I'm trying to get going for that. Can you all see that okay? Yeah. Okay. So all I'm doing for each one, you know, I'll put the, we'll use their logo as a cover. When you go in there, it'll list their company name. It'll give the link to their site. It'll tell what it is that they're sponsoring. And then it will include whatever the quote is from one of our members about why it's important. Um, so we'll just develop, uh, you know, uh, Rohan, you can work with, with uh, any of our team you like to come off with how we want that to look. Um, right. And then we'll just probably every few days, my hope is we're going to have one or two more sponsorships that we'll just throw into that to do column so that we can we can increase that. Section. Um, Wait, we're, we're keeping those as Trello cards right now. Right. All of that information is in Trello in the to do column for now. Okay. So we're okay. So the, the to do is add these to the website. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, you'll also actually, I'll mention a couple other uh, actually. I'll hop around a little bit there. Um, last thing I'll say before I, I, I check in with everybody uh, is just you'll notice that we've I've done a lot of uh, upgrades to our site of our Trello board here. So we now have sections based off of the kind of communications work it is. So that should hopefully make it easier for as we get more helpers, those helpers to jump in and see if it's their kind of thing. Um, so every card has a label, every card has a member, Hopefully by the end of tonight, every card will have a meaningful description so that somebody can just jump in and say like, yep, I could, I could do that one. Uh, and we've done a little bit more sorting of those. Uh, we also, every board now has the HR needs tab. Um, so if we notice we need somebody, actually we can do this right now. We go there, we click on our team needs, takes us to the spreadsheet for that. And I can now take off our need for a Webflow webmaster. Uh, leaving us with those two needs there. So um, that's that's on every board now. A couple of the things that are useful for us to know are that I have added an NLP board for Brandon. He was needing there to be a dedicated set for that. So they now have a Trello board and I think that is it for me other than just the a stuff. Quick question done. and I think yeah. I've asked you this uh, earlier today but on the main board there is no uh link to the actual team boards so yeah we can we can um we can change how that is right now what it is is it, there's one that goes to task team my assumption is that as we go at some point we're going to need someone who is the overall coordinator for how those tasks are going okay. makes sense uh, and so with kind of there, the long term investment yeah. okay makes yeah. sense uh, but but if we want, we can also make it kind of a redundant link as well. And on the main board, have those links that go straight to the four. Let's add right these now, four because four. yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, great. Here, let me stop sharing. And then yeah, if anyone else wants to kind of check in around uh, any any major progress or any blockers that are there right now. Um, catch up on. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay, I just, I have to catch up on um everything from yesterday's call. I haven't done that yet. So I think that will address uh, the questions that I put up. Perfect. And was it you, Frangis, who made the, the team, the, the communications team spreadsheet that's there? No. Was that you, Shannon? I did, no, I did, um, I'm working on the tags so that when we automate the incoming volunteers, we can uh, hopefully get them to the project managers if that's if that's how we're gonna get Perfect. our get our volunteers you know uh, over to where they might want to be um, and I'm also I've also got quite quite a group of the incoming backlog ready to push out to teams like the specialists and experts so um, again, once I catch up on the meeting, I'll see where we are uh, with oh, contact people.
that's great. I forgot to share, show this, so I just I quickly will, because whoever did this, it's amazing. On our resources, we now have a member sheet. And if we click through to that, all the people who are sort of dedicated communications folks, it gives all the information. Here's their soft skills, here's their technical skills, the programs they're proficient with, all, all the things we would want to look at to kind of coordinate. So this oh, is- Oh, that's great. This is I marvelous. just plugged this link into the chat box because I was going to ask Rohan to add himself to it. Yeah, great. And where is that? Uh, so it's under the communications Trello board under resources. There's the tab that says communications member sheet. You can also find it through the G drive or you can open it in the chat box here as well. Oh, did I not hit enter on this? Let's hit enter on that. Uh, there we go. Now, now I've sent it in the chat box as well. Um, Great. And how about you, Shannon? How's the, uh, how's the day been? Uh, it's been good. Um, I haven't done many things today, but earlier in the day, I, I did send Archer some um, embedding instructions for the Google Calendar. Uh, how did that look, Archer? Oh, you're on mute, Archer. I, I haven't had a chance to do that, truthfully. And I'll try to do that today, and I'll let you know how it looks like. It seems like maybe we should ask Rohan to help us with that. Yeah, except it's late where he is, oh, right? Oh, that's true. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, we, Rohan, we waited a while. Did, do you have five minutes to embed the calendar on the on the website? Um, not at all. I'm on my phone. It's uh, uh, just quarter to one a.m. Yeah. right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's what I sleep. thought. <laughs> yeah, and embarrassingly, I'm right now in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. So, yeah, I'm sorry, but I can't do it right away. I no have problem. a question. I have a question. We have volunteers that are web developers, and they're specifying front end. So are those people that should come to communications group? Yeah, absolutely. So those will be the people who then that can be kind of a, a resource for Rohan. So Rohan can help us figure out how we're doing the overall website. And then oh, we'll make okay. sure that he has that roster of any of the other people with web dev experience okay, uh, so, that, so that there can be a team. Okay. Um, so I, okay, so those hope, hopefully that part should be pretty easy. I did make the calendar publicly viewable as well. And I was kind of thinking I would add some share, um, some edit permissions for team leads so that they could also put their meetings on it. We could put this meeting on it. I could, mm -hmm. I could put this meeting on it if we like. That'd be um, great. Uh, are we doing every day, including some people take Sundays off. Are we just going straight through? Um, I think let's 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 talk about that. My my general feeling is we can have it so that the call is scheduled to happen each day with an understanding that people take time off as they need. That we need we, you know everyone has to to feel free to to maintain their their life as well. Yeah, basically, have... if if there is a call and one person joins and that's it, that that means there is no call. But if yeah. there are two people, that means there is a call. Okay, that's a good point. I I was I actually this is it reminds me I tomorrow I may have a conflict with this meeting so I might not be here tomorrow yeah. but um uh okay so the the less enjoyable news on my side is that uh, I was on the support line again with G Suite today because they still wouldn't let me add the list and um that is when they informed me that they had misinformed me about when I would be able to do that. And I got on the phone and everything. And anyway, I'm hoping to talk to a supervisor on Monday, but mostly what I'm, I, I, will, I will try to get them to help us out. But what may happen is, is that I will hopefully get more specific information about how many we, people we can add per day. Um, so they did give me a possible hack to get around this and but before I do anything else Archer can you confirm for me how it is we're doing this currently you mean inviting people yes so there is only one need for the actual like invites it's the organization-wide uh, call so basically the way I do it I yesterday went and added uh, all the new ones to the group that you created then I added the email uh that that you've given me and that's it um okay, okay. uh which which email because they're there at one point there was an old one and then there was a new one the one that exists because the other one told me that it doesn't exist so i think okay let me i'll read the name to you or you know what i'll just drop the name in and, and you can confirm i don't remember if i deleted the old group i think i didn't because i didn't want to mess you up 
because I tried adding the second one and it didn't work. So I'll, I'll find a message of uh, whatever email I'm using and I'll, I'll just send it to you. So, okay, yeah. that, that'd that be great um, because that one probably is also missing some people because I didn't, because I don't know if you added them and I didn't add them myself. So we may have somewhat different looking groups. I have a group in the G Suite that has 193 or 92 people in it. Um, this one, I just sent them to you. Okay. Let's see, where's my Slack? Let me check the Slack. Um, monitor. And we can take it uh, offline uh, just to figure out. Oh, I think this is the right list. Yeah, well, that's good. interesting. So you're able to do it and I'm not. Uh, so th the reason why I'm able to do it, I'm not adding it from the team. Uh, Gmail. I found a way to do it by inviting one of my other Gmails and then using that to add uh, this one because I think that one didn't hit the, the quota limit yet. So I think that's where, so that's what they said. They said it's per user, but I'm not clear on what the quota is per user. Yeah. So I guess you can just keep doing this um, until, <laughs> so Arthur, I was hoping, can you try to edit, because I created a daily and they said that I can, we can do that. Yeah, you've um, created the daily one. I keep editing the daily one, just uh, But it's, you're not, apparently you're not clicking propagate to all tasks. I mean, to all, to oh, all. Oh, no, no, because I don't want the agenda to, to show up for, for all the following events. Oh. Because every evening I create agenda that is unique and I update one of the events. Okay, I guess I had in mind that we would add the people um, for the whole series and then you, you would, someone would update the agenda. Oh, can you do that? The, well, I can't do anything seemingly. But but you wouldn't it, receive an invite uh, whenever uh, I update this one. I, I usually make it do a reminder email. Um, let's let's uh, move this discussion to, to Slack just not to take okay. the time. I have nine more minutes. There is a point that I want to to discuss and it's primarily this uh you know no, knowledge bomb that i uh dropped this uh, this morning and i tried to combine all the stuff in terms of communication pm human resources and there is a lot of stuff and i need your guys help to kind of unbundle that and uh create uh pieces for it do we do you have do we have a sense that the the project, there are enough project managers on, on all the projects even? I think they're not activated because uh, like every, like I think three teams actually told us today that they need project managers. Okay. And like, obviously we already have people, we just don't have a process for them to help these teams. I'm yeah. not actually even sure we have people based on wait how the last meeting went. But wait a minute, you mean we have people meaning the teams have already identified people no, or they're asking I have, for PM. I have a bunch of people that have been from the incoming call, the incoming. Let's match it up. I and have I think, used one guy to geotask, I think. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and that's Hyberson. And one of the things I'm hoping to do with as we onboard him as a PM, one of the, the people on that team had asked me to kind of maybe reach out to him. And so I'm going to start just a basic PM guide. And so it'll be it'll be rough and ugly, but then we can we can work on making sure that we can. And I think with the PMs, it's two parts. One of them is orienting them to all of the different things and like the key things of their task, like, you know, serving your team and making sure that they've got the stuff that they need and some of the tools that they can use to do that. Um, but my hunch is, especially as we're onboarding new people, a piece of it's going to be around group culture. So we can set, we can give some intention to like, what do we want that to look like? Because it's much easier for people who are who are onboarding into it and getting a sense of what it's supposed to be uh, to kind of uh, jump into that. Whereas, you know, we all the people who who we've we've been working in PM, we we each have our our different ways that we've been doing it because we we came in with kind of a blank slate. Yeah. So okay, so the ones that I have. Uh, flagged that are interested in doing PM. Should I should I send them a message that so that they can we can I do the first. I think what would be that? helpful for you is checking out how I've done it for that uh, Hyberson guy, and I don't even remember how I done it. I think he posted somewhere. 
Um, and I just reached out to him and I told him that, hey, we may need your help. Uh, just let me know when you're ready to, to get onboarded. And then, okay, I found it. Okay, let me share my screen. That will be way easier to explain. Uh, can you see my screen now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so here comes the guy. I have experience IT management, blah, 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 integration, project management, ideal guy. So amazing background, welcome. Would you like to join program management initiative or facing growing challenges trying to organize 600 people? Hi, sure, come me in. I'm not familiar with Slack though, okay. And please observe today and let's connect tomorrow whenever it works for you to properly onboard you. Okay, so today he actually reached out to me. I completely forgot about him. Uh, and I just told him that, okay, I added you to the team that needs your help the most. And I added him to the Geo team. Uh, I have no idea what happened to him after, but I see him communicating, so. Oh, and so he must have gotten on Slack or whatever. Like people that say that they're not familiar with Slack, do we assume that then they get the app and do it? Uh, that was the message in Slack. So he got into okay. Slack, he was just not, not familiar with Slack. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah. Okay. So I would suggest you reaching out to the person who uh, seems relevant and just telling them, hey, would you be willing to help us with program management? If there is intent, then onboarding him through either quick conversation, just explaining what's happening, or throwing him into one of the teams, which is less than ideal. And when they, so, okay, so when they join, when they join Slack, <coughs> I'll, I'll tell them to message me. So I yeah. know. Um, I highly recommend for you to check out the daily uh, call, uh, the recording one. Okay. I was showcasing uh, some uh, crazy flow charts and things that are in progress, but you'll immediately get more guidance on like what to do. So here okay. you can see person fills out website form. Is person readily applicable to existing needs? Yes, connector takes on responsibility to onboard person. Person joins Slack, person introduce themselves. Yes, no. Yes, connector welcomes and suggests a couple of relevant channels, suggest relevant resources. Okay. So kind of the, the guidance, but it's, it's very rough and I haven't had time to finish. Does it make sense? Yeah. yeah. And that's, where is that again? On the daily call? Yes, I, I gave a brief introduction into that. Okay. Do we have someone right now who is the uh, essentially a PM coordinator? Because my understanding is that they're sort of working each independently right now. I think there is none. Well, so the person who was leading the daily calls was Steve Godfrey. And mm -hmm. I had invited him to the comm calls. I don't know what's, uh, what he's up to today. He wasn't free yesterday. Um, and my take, truthfully, based on the personality assessment, he's a more like abstract thinking guy. He is very, uh, very like processing, 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 and then outputting. We need someone who is more reactive and more immediate. And, I and got that impression also. Mm -hmm. um, but that also means that we kind of, I'm not sure we have a project man management team formed solidly. Unless I agree. Frank, you see, like you okay. ask people. So, so as I'm speaking with people, I can see who might be a candidate to manage the project managers, and yeah. then the ones that want to get into the nitty gritty of an actual piece of the pie. Quick suggestion: Don't try to get a large commitment. Try to onboard them with a small thing. And then even if you see their the candidate to, mind, can, yeah. Yeah, to help with something big, don't tell them that it's, you know, to lead the project okay. management team <laughs> because that won't work. The smaller commitment uh, yeah. is, the better the chance is. Okay. One thing I'll mention, so Marie, who, I, I had a bunch of conversation with, with uh, Marie who, who hopped on and was doing some amazing project uh, management, management stuff and then had to step back. But she said like, you know, she's, she's still happy to do, you know, even up to like an hour, daily of essentially, uh, as, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like coaching essentially on how we're doing that. I'm, I might talk to her to see if she would be willing to, even if we just had someone who it was a light touch, they weren't mired in the different tasks. But one of the things that, that she has, it seems to me, 
is a really good understanding of how an emergent organization like this can handle and frame their, their program management. And so I think even if we had someone like that, just very lightly, so, so as, we, as we look and find maybe a new, a new PM coordinator, mm -hmm. I think those are the kind of skills that we're looking for. It doesn't have to be someone who necessarily is, is deeply entrenched with any of the groups, but someone who has that ability to, to mobilize and frame and, and unify the, the team towards something. What's her name? Um, Marie, and let me just, um, Marie uh, Pirete. Yeah, okay, about that. You can ask her, but she was among the people at the last meeting who was feeling um, like she needed to take a step back. But I think yep. that the reason, the reason was that she didn't feel comfortable with her domain expertise in a yeah. technical sense. And I think maybe she didn't feel as connected in, in direction and maybe if the structure changed, maybe she'd feel differently. So she's basically, she's still uh, on retainer in a sense. So you can definitely reach out to her. I just don't know what kind of response you're gonna get. Yeah, she, we, 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 we had some good exit conversation with her, and my hunch is that we may be able to, um, she was still keen on what we're doing, and that if we can structure things in a way where the domain expertise isn't a blocker, which it shouldn't be, I mean, I think the fact that it is, is one of the things we have to address, um, then, then I think we might be able to okay. get her to engage a little bit more. Okay. Exactly. Okay, All right. that's uh, helpful. Let's, let's summarize uh, kind of the key points. I just sent the link to embedded calendar, just finished that. Uh, so uh, Shannon, please check out if that looks good. Yes, yeah, well. And uh, in terms of PM communications stuff, uh, please check out the daily call today and kind of my knowledge dump on the processes. I'll try to formalize it further and hopefully tomorrow we'll have something more solid. And Daniel will have some more input in terms of Trello side of things and some uh, document that he mentioned. Um, I hope you, Shannon, were taking the follow-up uh, actions uh, on the call. Yes. Okay. So I have um, I, I have uh, an AR for Rohan uh, to please add the sponsor cards to the website. And currently, they exist on the Trello board. I, if I can find a link, I, I will. Uh, Daniel, if you can give me the link. Um, oh, I, I guess also another AR for um, Rohan. Uh, update uh, the com contact spreadsheet with your info, please. Um, and then uh, AR for Arter, you just did it. It was to embed the calendar. Um, uh, AR for Angie, uh, recruit PMs. I have a few notes about what Arthur said for advice about recruiting PMs. And one of the notes is also to find someone who can manage the PMs. Sounds great. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, right. thanks everyone. Uh, again, like we're, we're making uh, progress. I promise you. It, it looks <laughs> like chaos, but it's, it's shaping up nicely. Thanks, right. everyone. Thanks, okay, everyone. Welcome aboard, Brian. Yeah.